Hey guys, Larry here with Rack Factor Outdoors. Uh, it's September 11th. This is going to be my, uh, hopefully, my final trip out. I'm going to do some uh, preparations for the beginning of the season. I'm going to set up a couple new stands um, and move a few trail cameras around. Hopefully, we can find some fresh grapes to put them on. Also, I'm going to check out and see how my food plots are doing. put this uh, food plot here on the edge of this bean field and uh, it seems to be doing pretty pretty decent um, we've got a few bare spots in here but uh, we haven't gotten a whole lot of rain so I'm hoping it's gonna take off a little bit you see we got a little bare spot here but uh, we've got this right on the edge of a bean field here and, uh, hopefully I'm gonna get me a stand uh, somewhere close here I started clearing me a little path uh, I think I'm going to try to get up in this tree right here um, and get me some shooting lanes cleared out and hopefully this will be a good little stand. I've seen a lot of deer come, come through here. So. Well, I'm sitting up here in the first stand I got put up, and uh, it's 81 degrees, but it feels like 95. I mean, the humidity's pretty bad today, but uh, I'm also working pretty hard, too, so um, everything looks pretty good up here, so I'm going to do a couple more uh, uh, shooting lane trimmings, and uh, we'll uh, go to the next one. The reason why I really like this spot, and I chose this spot for the stand, is, you know, I've got beans right here on the left side of me. And it's got a nice little pinch point here. Uh, and then over here on the other side of me, I've got corn. So. This is the uh, food plot that uh, Levi and I worked on about two weeks ago. Um, it's starting to pop up, it's sprouted. So, I mean, we're doing good there. We got some bare spots, but as you can see, um, it's pretty dry yet. So, but we got some sprouts popping up, so I'd say a couple more weeks it ought to be pretty green, so I'm fairly happy with it. I'd like to see it a little bit greener by now, but uh, it's, it's moving along. Uh, I'm going to walk back and check the, the back clover plot, and uh, I've got an issue with my camera back there. Um, the last picture I got a, was a deer right up in the camera, and I think it busted my antenna off, so... We're gonna go back and see. I've got a spare antenna if that's the case, but uh, I'm gonna walk back there and see. But, well, if you watched our video um, labeled Food Plot Magic, turn a weed patch into a food plot in three hours. Well, Levi was talking about um, this stand of clover that we had and I mowed it down pretty, pretty short. That was about two weeks ago. And uh, it's starting to grow back really nice. We've got a lot of clover in here. Also over here. Got a nice patch of clover in here, and I mean it's it's looking really good. I had it cut down about three inches before, and there's a lot of weeds in here. And as you can see now, lots of clover. So I think this is going to be really good. So just as I expected, I got out here, and uh, sure enough, the antenna's busted here on this uh, camera. And uh, it's a good thing that I brought another one. I got a brand new one here. I'm gonna swap it out and get some pictures sent, see if it if it's working. Uh, this is the Spartan 4G camera. Um, we run a lot of these. They're uh, pretty good cameras. So. Put in a little friend here uh, on the trail camera. So uh, guys, whenever you're uh, checking your trail cameras or moving them or whatever you're doing, uh, make sure you're paying attention to what you're doing because uh, not too sure what kind of spider that is. It doesn't look like he's poisonous or not, but uh, very well could be. So be careful out there. Well, I got the uh, camera down, and uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to this. Uh, I ordered a two-pack of antennas off of Amazon, and they were universal. But uh, what I didn't pay attention to was that they make male or female. And as you can see... I need a male to adapt to this, and uh, 
I've got the female, so I'm going to have to uh, get a different antenna. So for now, the nice thing about these cameras is they still take pictures. Um, they just won't be sending them to my phone. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get another antenna ordered. Hopefully I can get it on there in the next few days and get it back up and going again. Well, I ran out of time yesterday to get done what I'd like to get done, so uh, going back out again today and uh, going to try to get another stand up, maybe a couple more trail cameras, and hopefully this will be our last time. And this here is my setup of what I'm going to be hanging. Um, I think I've got about four of these sets. Um, I've got two already up, so I'm going to put one on this uh, little food plot here by the bean field. And uh, these sticks here, they're just 20-foot climbing sticks. Uh, I believe they're big dog. Um, and then also, I use the Millennium Lock-On Stand. It's very comfortable. So we're going to go ahead and get this put up here and, and uh, get some shoot lanes cleared. Okay, we got, we got a run coming here, and it connects to that main run where we put our camera. Uh, and also goes down into the bottom. we got a lot of ridges coming around here. I, I, wanna, I think I'm going to put on this tree in between these two because it's going to give us some cover. Um, and I think it's going to be a good spot. Well, we've abandoned the idea of putting it on those three trees over there because it's got a whole lot of poison ivy growing up in it. So we're going to come over this one. It's got a little bit of breakup towards the top. I'm going to set up a trail cam here on this uh, this deer run that we got here. It's a pretty good run. Um, we haven't ever hunted this area, so we're going to put a camera here and see what's moving through here. I'm going to clear this area up a little bit and get this camera mounted and see what kind of deer is coming through. trail camera so I went back to the truck and I found a piece of uh, electrical wire we're gonna make it work so. which it actually works <laughs> almost better than the strap it's a little quicker um, and then we need to get this pointed down so we can get some good I think that'll work just fine. 